I'm joined once again by John Maguire, who is now being given his blue belt in jiu-jitsu, so he's flying up in that ranks, but he's also stepping up on a absolutely top-notch in fact it's probably one of the best cards in the uk this year easily on the acb fighting league they host an event at the hydro in glasgow which is a great event and you're taking on kira malone now there wasn't just one person you know trying to get grab a fight with you on that card do you feel when people call you out or you get your name shout do you see that as a, a marker's respect because they obviously see you as a, a someone to really kind of challenge and test themselves against. Well, I don't mind if it's a decent, sort of decent call now, but when, got, when the guys have got no record or this and that, uh, this guy was, ACP wanted me to fight him because he's got a shitty homeboy and they, they wanted this fight. So, uh, and I just want to be on the card and I was getting a bit pissed off because they finally announced it, like, was it two and a half weeks ago? Yeah. Well, a week and a half ago? Yeah, not long ago. Yeah, it was only recently. Yeah, it was almost like they, you know, they they were just e just edging the fight out. I think they should have announced them sooner. You know, they they've got some great matchups. Yeah. He, he only just signed only like just then, only a few days before, because he had three different opponents in mind for me, but they really wanted this one, and it kept changing. That's why they never announced it. Ah, right. Okay, I get you. Fair enough. Um, d now with, with Kieran Malone, you know, he's a he's a you know, the kid's got some experience on his belt already. And, yeah, like you say, I think it's, it's you know, he's a home crowd favourite, so to speak. Your resurgence back into the MMA scene, I tell you what, it's been super impressive. Do you think there's, you, you're more relaxed? Something, what is it, like, you know, your last performance, you know, Colin Fletcher, that arm bar, that finish, you know. The, what is it that's uh, just clicking with you at the moment? It's just that passion back, that fire's back more, and you're, you're a lot more fluid because of maybe experience and knowledge? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I'm just, like I said, I'm just really enjoying it. I think, I feel like I can challenge anyone and everyone. I feel like I'm getting better every day. I feel like I'm getting better every day. I train smart, I do everything, everything's just changed over the last couple of years. Now, this fight you've got, is it a one fight deal? What's what's the score with the, this promotion and how is it going to work out? Like I said, it's a one fight deal. I'm only doing a one fight deal with them. Right, okay, and is that what you're trying to do then, maybe just, for example, let's say KSW came along, you'd say, right, let's do one fight, let's just, let's just play, play around with this, and just dot yourself around and see what comes about. Yeah, well, of course, I don't want to be stuck on the promotion when I'm waiting, where I, if you know, I've been pretty active, but this will be my fourth fight just this year, yeah. five, it'll be five in less than a year, but I like to be active, because I'm enjoying it, injury free, but so did everything come good, I and might be better fights out there, like good fights that I want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if someone's not on that promotion, you can't really have it happen. It kind of working like a free agent, so to speak. It you can like subcontract yourself for yeah. one fight. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's how I'm looking at because it, there's Cage Warriors banner. Yeah. I like to. Uh, I like to fight them all. Well, that's the thing with you know you got Cage Warriors. I, I tell you what, I've been super impressed by the fact that. Cage Warriors got that UFC fight pass deal, but then they got the BT Sport deal. That is great for UK MMA. That the, they're getting that on, you know, such a you know a, pro, a profound network. You know, BT Sport being shown Cage Warrior fights live. That's I don't think I think that really went under the radar on the UK scene about how how much of a momentous moment that was because let's be honest, Bama's last card, you couldn't watch that. People were asking how to watch it, and they finally decided to stream it via their Facebook page and their YouTube channel, I think it was. You know, it's yeah. the, these great fights and matchups, and these top lads, you know, yourself included, have got these matchups, and no one can watch them. It's just ridiculous, you know. The fact that Cage Warriors have got that nailed, it's a great thing for exposure and also for people to learn and get into the sport. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really good, and especially because I just... Uh... Their ratings were like they got thirty thousand for the last show. On yeah, BT. yeah, they beat, they topped, they topped all the, uh, they topped the UFC with viewership. So even that speaks volumes itself. Uh, I, th I think it's what. Yeah, it does. But the UFC was on at three in the morning, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it that's was a, on a free. That's a big difference there. Yeah. You yeah. managed 30,000, 30,000 at free in the morning. Yeah. It did, that, that is a big deal, and to be, to be fair, I can't I can't knock Cage Warriors for the effort they're doing at the moment, and, and they're doing little steps to make everything come together. Yourself included, you like maybe have a, a, the odd fight here and there. You know, I think that's something that's great. I think that's something that, that, that could appeal uh, appeal sorry to like Bammer and, and Cage Warriors. You know, if that's what you're looking for, they'd be right up there. Yeah, well, I was in talk. I was, I was in talk to Bammer to get a fight, but it fell through with that Peter Quinley, Quirley, whatever you call him, just got lost on Bammer. Yes, from he did. HGB, yes. And that never. It never come through. Not on my end. It wasn't my end either. It was more that side. Oh, do you know what? And Cage Warriors offered me. So go on, go on, John. Go on, John. And, and Cage Warriors offered me a, a world away title fight, but just I left it. It was too too, too close. Ah, oh, bugger! Absolute buggers. Well, I tell you what, there's nothing to stop them making making that offer now, and there's nothing after this fight, and see how this fight goes. I, I tell you what, I was um. Yeah, when Peter Queeley lost, I, I'm not saying I was happy, but the fact that people were talking about him stepping in to fight Tim Means, I literally could not stop laughing. I was like, the guy has never finished anyone in his professional career, and you're telling me he's going to step in. And he's a showstopper. Yeah, yeah, he stops. And he's a yeah. showstopper. Yeah, well, that's what I call him. I say, I say he is a showstopper. He stops the show happening because he's not an exciting fighter. I can tell everyone that right now. I don't, I don't understand it. Well, come about. I was talking like the one that you know. The, I did a world championships for amateurs. Oh yeah. Yeah, when I was over in Vegas. Yeah. The, the Irish team was there, and I said, "Oh, uh, Quinley's been calling out. He wants to fight you because he beats you. When he beats you, he goes to UFC." And I thought, and I went, "What? So I'm just gonna roll over and then beat me, like?" <laughs> and, and I went. I said, "And to take it from me, I'd stop Quinley within a round or two. He won't get into a third round, mate, and that's fact. Well, the thing was, yeah, in that fight, he really got exposed. You know, if you, you start putting the pressure on him, don't give him the space he wants. And that's a big thing. Certain fighters need that certain style. If you if you give the guy space, like Anthony Pettis, if you give that guy space, he is a very dangerous fighter. He will find a hole, a gap, and he'll expose it, and he will absolutely punish you. But if you close him down, like Eddie Alvarez did, like Rafael dos Anjos did, just just pressure, 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 like Clay Guida did as well. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like you being there in his face. And, and there's certain styles that fighters have, and if you can just be that kind of kryptonite, it just they can't adjust to it. Agreed. Yeah, I think you got to close them to all fighting down. Yeah. With, with Quinley, I put it. I put him in boxing range and keep him there, not let him on the outside. You can keep pushing him. Yeah. Yeah, just keep that pace up as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was. I tell you, I was. I, yeah, I did watch that fight. Uh, this, this card. Um. They've, look, they've they've got some cracking names on there, like Norman Parks. You know, he looks like he's signed about twenty fights in, uh, since he's left the UFC. He's, he looks like he's going to try and fight every week to, you know, rectify the things that weren't working for him in the UFC himself. But you got like the likes of Ryan Sco. Does it excite you as a you know? You know, as a as a fan as well, looking at the names on the card and the fact that this isn't the UFC card or a Cage Warriors Bama, that the fact that the British talent, the British scene, it actually is a lot bigger than people re don't realise. Yeah, I, I think that's what it's good again. I'm excited because you've got like you've got Norman Park, you've got Jake Bosworth, where's Danny Mitchell, and that's a fight there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got Jake Bosworth, of course, plus Robert Whitford, and uh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's, there's a great name, a great bunch of fighters on there. It's, I think that for yourself as well, this card is going to probably get quite a bit of attention that people didn't realise. I think that, especially when the card went out there, everyone started to notice it. I think it's something that globally will probably get a lot more attention than people think. I, I look forward to watching it myself, but Kieran Malone himself is a fighter. Do, do you know much about Kieran? Because obviously he fought Jason Coolidge in BCMMA. I don't know if you were there for that fire. Were you, were you in the corner for Jason for that? I, I was there, but I, I saw... I can't remember the fight. I was there. I watched bits of it. Yeah. And I remember Kieran Malone was there. I think he was there for Jason Coolidge. But all I do remember that time is uh, Jason Coolidge missed weight by about £10, £12, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did, yeah. So that's all. Uh, that's the 
Yeah. Oh, I remember. I remember hearing about that on the the Friday Friday afternoon. I was just yeah. I I missed it. I missed it. Yeah. 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 Y
give a shout out to your gym and where you've been training with the people that you've been training with. You can even give a mention to that old that old man called uh, what's his name, uh, Jack Mason, and uh, <laughs> yeah. and, and people like that, my friend. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've got to thank, like I said, I've got like a bit of a gym hall. BKK, Jack Mason, of course. Impulse BJJ with Fabio Ferrari and Mike Day. And uh, who else have I got to mention? Tsunami Gym, where I coach for all my guys down there. Fantastic stuff. Honestly, John, thank you so much for your time, mate, and have a great fight this weekend. I will definitely be finding out how to watch the fight. There's no, I have no doubt they'll be streaming it, so I'll be linking myself up on the laptop. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be, I'll be t- tweeting, it, uh, tweeting it out when the link is. There should be a link. But yeah, and I thank, appreciate it. We'll see that you've seen the rise before. Now you're looking at the rise of Maguire again, the one. <laughs>